Good morning, world. I woke up in Paris today, solo and happy. I'm so jazzed to be here in France. I have recently fallen in love with France because, especially for the solo traveler, it is a fantastic place to check out. And here goes. I'm going to address the fears that solo travel, the first time solo travelers, especially in my cute tiny room in the perfect neighborhood in Paris, the Latin Quarter. I've stayed here. This is the third time I've stayed here. One of the things that's underrated is to go back to places that you've fallen in love with because you know they're wonderful. Just made myself some coffee. There's a water heater here. A little bit messy, but that's the heater over there. But I actually bring one because I like to have coffee immediately when I wake up. So here are the fears. Um, nice window. Fear of, um, getting robbed, kidnapped, all of that. Let's address that one first. Okay, that could happen anywhere in the world. So it could happen in your hometown. It could happen, uh, anywhere that's familiar. I mean, that's something that, um, you deal with. In life and uh, if you're interested I have to, uh, my top five countries in a blog post I'll put the link below so you can check that out for solo travelers that are really a good countries to go to um, I'm not saying nothing bad is gonna ever happen I've, I've had some bad things happen um, but if you're the thing about intuition is it cautions you. Don't listen to the outside world telling you something is safe when you deep down feel like it isn't. Like um, when I was solo traveling, I solo traveled um, in Colombia by, by myself and about 10 years ago. And I also traveled with my son in Colombia. So I would meet Colombians going, oh, it's so safe here. And, I'd tell them, yeah, you're Colombian. You're not a tourist. It's going to be different for me. Um, you don't need to make people understand. If you don't feel safe, get out of there. That's Get out of the country. Don't go there. Go somewhere else. Um, I've heard plenty of times people tell oh, that place is safe to go. If I don't feel safe going by myself, I'm by myself. I'm not going to go if there's any kind of feeling of it's not going to be good for me to go there. I don't want to have the fresh experience <laughs> of being scared in a new country. Let me see. I'm trying to think of places. Um, like right now, I spent a month in Myanmar. I wouldn't go now. There's things politically that are happening there that unfortunately, because they're happening, it makes it not a place for me to want to go but it was a wonderful experience in 2013 uh right after obama came um so you have to listen to that and i'm drinking a lot less i realized on my first trip to bali that if you drink and you kind of start being less aware of your surroundings it's not a good thing. Like last night was really nice. I went to a restaurant, Bon Vivant, here in Paris that I've been to three times before. 30 steps from my hotel room. Uh, I met the owner there. He wasn't there last night, but really nice staff. They all know English. Um, so they can speak to you in your own language because my French is ridiculous. But I haven't tried to learn. It's a beautiful language. They could be talking about taking out the trash and you'd want to listen to it. It's just, oh, it's very sexy. As you know, probably. But I feel safe going there. And then uh, I usually don't even have two glasses of wine, but I did have two glasses of champagne and it was just so nice. Then I walked back to my room and realized I wanted to go to the grocery store which was a little bit farther but also nice experience talking to the cashier I mean France feels incredibly safe and that's one of my top places to go um and you can go to places outside of Paris too that would I've been to Lourdes uh tomorrow I'm going to Reims which is the Champagne area for a couple of nights and then I go to Sicily Sicily another good place to go by yourself so um, 
you have to pick the place. And what I would do, um, okay, another fear is I'm going to not know what to do and I'm going to be afraid. Well, everybody doesn't know what to do at first. Even me as a person who's traveled around the world four times by myself, around the entire world, 34 countries, have been doing this for 17 years. I was scared at first um, of the unknown. Um, and people can prey upon tourists, but I have been scammed and I learned <laughs> that, yes, you can be scammed. Um, but not significantly. Okay, I got scammed out of some money and lied to, but so what? I wasn't hurt. Um, I haven't been physically hurt, mentally, yeah, um, by being robbed and so forth. I, I was robbed in Thailand when I was on my bicycle going to the hospital and I had cash in my purse in the front basket, which you're not supposed to do, so I made that mistake. Um, I was with a person on a train in India. He got his passport stolen. We were just, uh, tourists who were interested in talking to each other on a long trip. We weren't together. Um, so he got robbed right... We were both sleeping in our separate bunks, and he got robbed of his passport. And and he coped. Like, you're going to be able to cope. You know, make copies. He didn't have any copies or anything. I gave him some money. Um, other people helped him, took him into their homes and stuff. I was on my way to Rishikesh, India. And I, you know, I have a budget for travel. So, um, you know, save up your money, have a budget, have a, an emergency fund because something might happen, have a credit card you could use. And yeah, you can get sick. I have gotten sick, horribly sick in India. India was the worst with food poisoning. And it, it took a couple of weeks to get over, but I got the right medication, very cheap medication. Um, it happens, but you can get over it, and it makes you stronger. You lose some weight. Hey, you want to detox? <laughs> lose about 10 pounds by getting food poisoning, and hey, maybe it's even good for your system, you know, to have that kind of a detox. I mean, sure, I'm not going to say go, go get it and have it because of it's being good for your system. No, um, but I, I felt stronger and lighter after when I got my strength back. So that can happen. Um, but these are the fears that you have. And even if they do happen, uh, because any life wallop is going to make you stronger. You just deal with it, learn some language in that, um, words from that language that you're going to trust your gut, um, try to eat as healthy as you possibly can. Uh, you are going to connect with people. It's funny, being solo, you actually connect with more people than if you're with someone. Because you're more approachable. Um, and people aren't intimidated by you. On the other hand, walk away from anything that you feel weird about. You don't have to be, have an etiquette about it or um, have any kind of elegance just get the hell out of there you're gonna be better off <laughs> so walk away sooner is my advice and um i'm gonna go to check out the louvre now i'm not gonna go inside i just want to see architecturally i'm in paris for one more day and then i'll be going to Reims on the train to check out the champagne area and and be in a smaller town in France, which is always fun, um, because France is beautiful, and people are great here. So, don't let your fears stop you from solo traveling. You can do it. Try out a solo travel trip near your home. Go camping by yourself. That's a fun thing to do. Um, I've done that a lot, and I enjoy it. I meet other people, and or a day trip to a big city by yourself, um, you can do it. If you have a desire to do it, you're going to be able to do it. So I'm applauding you. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. And hey, like and share, subscribe for more information.
because I do videos every week. Au revoir from Paris. <laughs>